Hello and welcome back to Road to Grandmaster, actually 1500, where I play chess until I reach a rapid either at 1500 or play Magnus Cross in a game of chess. Been away for a minute, but I've been getting some shit done. I've been working, and I'm shirtless right now, because I'm hot. I just took a shower, and I'm drinking a cup of joe. So here's the shakedown. Gonna go over a couple games, do some recaps. Elo's about stagnant. But I feel like we've gained some skill. Personally, I think the skill is there to propel us forward. But I just need to quit dicking around, running, lifting, fucking around, and just dialing on some chess. So what we're going to do, we're going to review a couple games that I am particularly fond of. And then we're going to play a bullet game at the end for some fun. And then we're going to get out of here. So pour yourself a cup of joe. And uh, let's get into some chess here. So, first opponent. Is this a Colombian? It is a Colombian. I probably saw it and remembered it. Or else I probably wouldn't remember that. So, playing with black here. Doing a little Karo Khan. Vintage Karo Khan. You know. I dig it. Push the pawn. And then, uh, lose a pawn. Straight off rip. And I'm like, oh. Cool. You know, staying in the game. Interesting move there, uh, and especially one to like, I don't know, I don't like dismantling my pawns. I would have definitely taken with that with that knight if I were them, but is what it is. Get the pawn back. Um, so, you know, we're just kind of developing some pieces, putting some pressure on that queen, trying to get it out of the mix. And then they mess up here. So they try to kick my queen which, you know, kind of makes sense. And then they have this bishop with some pressure behind the knight. But, you know, I take it. And then they do that. And then, so this is where I kind of start cooking. All right, I'm like, my time goes, as you can see, like my time drops kind of a lot here. But I was like, okay, so we got to check here. We can do this. Or we got, wait a second. Am I being down? Yeah, because... We got to check here because we got the knight's protection. And then the queen is covering the, the knight over there. So we go ahead and give them a check. They scramble out of the way. And then another check. And so at the end of this, we flatten out and I'm two pawns up. And their whole center is blown open. So we're in a pretty good position here. And I also love trading off the queens because I'm just like challenged and I don't ever see when the queen is going to like molest me from the other side of the board. But also it's raining. It was snowing for like two weeks and uh, it just decided to become 55 and rain everywhere. So I can run outside and not eat shit. So I've been running outside, but I've just been uh, slipping and sliding. So they go back to cover, pinning the knight. So I go here, get not on the edge of the board, not a good move, but I didn't want to go block my rook. And I kind of didn't even see that, but they took it. But I don't hate it, because I was able to get my rook, get my rook open, get this whole B file open. And uh, so I'm launching an attack over here towards that bishop. That's kind of the goal. Apparently not a good move. Should I move that? Um, you know, they're just dumb, so we just keep rock. And I, I give a check here, because I, I did not see a good move, because I was like, I'm probably going to lose my rook. And uh, But then they make a terrible move. King to b2. And I was like, okay. So not only do I get to keep my rook, keep my bishop, you know, because I get to protect it. Okay, now we're completely winning. Not even close. And uh, I, I do this to set up in a discovered attack. So I put this. So this was kind of my best play of the game, probably. The high IQ situation. So put, it th put the bishop behind the rook. So the rook can be attacked. Left the bishop open. But I knew when I put the rook over here. You'll see. You'll see. So they took. Then I go over here. They can't take my rook because this is the situation. And so 
bang, get the rook. But now we're just completely winning. A little shuffling, try to trade off the bishops, they take the bait. They put their rook in a place they can't do anything really to my rooks. And then we close off a little checkmate here. Satisfying win. Next game. This one was a little better, statistically speaking. Because I think that one was like 850 rating. Like, pretty good. You know, but like, not killer. This one was like 1200. So, and I was white here. So I start off. And what I, whenever you do that as black, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's a shitty way to start. When you put, like, that pawn. It just looks like, like a... Looks like a half-ass punch or something, you know. So then I'm like, okay. Or I just felt like confident. I was like, I feel like you're a pussy, you know. So I took it, and then we have like a stand off the middle of the board. Um, well, apparently I don't do that well against it, so maybe I'm tripping. And tried to trade off the queens here. They don't want to. Put some pressure on the pawn center of the board. Try to set my bishop up for. For winning chances and uh, I saw this if he moved his bishop it was gonna be a you know pin the queen I think probably I think it was gonna pin the queen so I moved I got the bishop into the game and just didn't take any chances with that and uh, it kind of blows up my pawn structure it's kind of looking a little dicey over here um, and then we just kind of like all my pieces are crammed over here. <laughs> so it's like kind of an odd position, kind of an odd position, but all my pieces are like in the game active, but they're clumped over to the side and equal material still. So, I mean, they're just putting more, more guns on the, you know, scoping up. I go ahead and castle, just play it safe, you know, put the, shove the king over a lot of pieces here. So, you know, feeling pretty safe, but like, you never know with a knight hanging around and all that. So they take a pawn, but do, by doing that, they get their knight out of the, out of the heat, you know, out of the, out of like the winning place. But I guess they put it back there, try to kick that and then kind of dismantling some of their attack. And I, now I have two like pretty active rooks. So some things go down. I'm like, okay, time to blow up the center. Time to blow up the center. I have a good rook here on the e-file. And now, now we now we have control of the center basically. And the and the pieces are are pretty even. Moves the knight to the center of the board. Stack the queen and the rook. Always a not always, but typically a pretty good decision, especially at this level, it seems like. And Cut off the bear. Cut off the queen's, the king's escape. And this is the this is the hammer in the coffin right here. So I didn't even see this move. I didn't even see queen to a8. Like obviously, I could, we would not. You would not play that because the queen would just take. But you would take it if they go to queen. If they go queen h3, like an idiot. What a blunder. And no, and no check. No check delivered. So I'm able to see that. I saw that. I was kind of like pondering for a second. I was like, oh, shit. They got me. Because he probably thought he was going to take that bishop. And uh, But I was like, oh, damn. I think we got something here. Because even, even here, I thought I could go like right here. I could sacrifice the queen and then just take with the take with the rook still. I think it would still have been checkmate. But even more fun, take the rook and then... Res resignation a resignation so we'll call it a dub we're getting better Elo may not be reflecting it I've been slacking on the reading but we're gonna fucking get back into it dude I'm not gonna say I promise but I think I'm having that issue that I that I that I talked about in my 4x4x4 bit 4 bit 4x4x48 video that if you try to do everything, you will do nothing. And uh, I think that's what's going on. So I kind of just like work out for like five hours a day. So uh, the running's going good. The running's going good, but the videos aren't. So we're gonna play 
a bullet game. So I don't know, maybe I need to just be like, have a better schedule. Maybe I need to like start smoking meth. Um, maybe something like that. But who knows? We're kind of just staying stagnant on this uh, chess situation. And I keep on saying I'm going to record me running. But every time I go and run, I just don't want to. And I can't record in the gym. I guess I could. But I feel like that's weird, you know? I guess it is weird. And then, you know, like this is weird. But I did it a couple times. No, I don't give a shit. So I guess I just got to do it. It's the why, though. And you can't go at like 1 in the morning. When I like to go, actually. I love going to the gym at 1 in the morning. But whatever. I'm just sitting here ranting. Let's play some bullet. Trying to get her ass kicked. Got to be quick. Got to be quick. Okay, center of the board. Little mirror action. Let's get this bishop in the game here. Um, I'll just go ahead and take that knight. I don't mind it. Little check. Okay, this in the game. We gotta watch out for this bishop over here. Let's put some pressure on it. So we can get this queen up. Oh shit, that didn't do anything. We take this pawn. Um, then we'll move this up. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, take, take. Okay, oh shit, you can take with that rook. Now we're kind of hosed. Okay, let's move this out of the way. I feel like I'm just going to get checkmated. It's just going to crumble. It's all going to crumble. Okay, that was kind of a good move. Um, okay. Move that here. If we can get this, we can stack these and then go. We might have a checkmate. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nope. Nope. He, he caught it. Okay. Oh, he up a sound in my ass. God, good move. Oh, my gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He got me. He got me good. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess we gotta win on time. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Make a move. Make a move. Okay. Good. Yeah, we do not need that to be alive. Just gotta move fast. Gotta move fast. We could have a chance. Yes. Yes. Get fucked. Dub. Incredible game. Uh, Grandmaster level ELO, probably, I would say. Yeah, uh, 100. Man, I can't think worth a shit when I'm talking or on Rapid. But that's the video. We're back. We never left, really. But yeah, getting better. Um, maybe getting worse. But learning some things. You got to get a little bit worse before you get better. That happened to me. Every time I get to like a 50, like 750, 700, 650, 600, I always got like worse. And then I learned some tricks, and then I shot up. So, like, next time, I might be, like, 800. And I'll just stay there, like, 800 to 825 for, like, a month. And then I'll go back to, like, 775, and then I'll shoot up to, like, 850. That's just how it works. And honestly, if I start reading this book and just, like, really getting in there, I know I'm a fucking broken record. But I might, I might be able to learn a few things, actually learn a couple openings, and be good. So, thank you for watching. And have a great day, truthfully.